Right, hey YouTube. Look what I'm in. Here. I'm in a steam engine. You can see down the down there. Right. Holding on to the throttle. Sadly this train don't move. It's static it's a static display, but it's a good engine. Here's all your valves, your blower, your your damper. Here's your firebox. Now, this engine isn't coal burned. It's oil, but I wish it were. Got the back of the cab, outside. What's the date? Um, don't know. Um, here in a minute I'll show you the drivers. I think I can show you them from here, actually. Sorry about the sun glare, guys. Anyway, here's your trailing wheels right here, as you can see. Going along the boiler. Here's your first set of drivers. Here's your center piston. And finally, we're getting to the last driving wheel, and here's the cylinder. Now the cylinder, there's steam up in the steam dome, which whenever the throttle's open, it shoots down into here. This rod right there is in here, and it gets pushed back and forth, which makes these wheels turn around. Now coming up here to the front, cow catchers are required on most railroads that have cows or anything, but Anyway, here's the front, the light. Now the headlight would be turned on through a special switch in the cab of the locomotive, which on foggy nights, or any night for that matter, that would normally be turned on just as soon as the sun went down. But anyway, here's your tender, where all your oil and water is. Let's take you back up into the cab hoses and your coupling down there. Here's where your oil would go in. There's that for, I think, sand or something. Here's what the firemen would normally see as they're going down the road. Here's the injector, which injects water into the boiler. Um. Here's something, I don't know. Pull it back. Push it forward. We sit in here, we sit here, and you can kind of see the driving piston right there through there. Here's the reverser. You push it all the way forward, go forward, push, pull it all the way back, move back. You got this lever here, which ain't connected anymore, unlike it is over there. And you got this free sand, I'm pretty sure, on this side. And that's pretty much the whole steam engine. So, you got your throttle here the reverser um this would be where your engine brake was they removed it don't know why anyway here's your speedometer your pressure and that i don't know what that used to be probably something but you got all these dials you got your reverser and your throttle up there would be like your whistle cord and all that but they removed it static display I guess she's in good running she's in good condition for running got some rust and some holes everywhere but that could easily be fixed anyway I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get off and uh, enjoy this moment for a few more minutes until we eventually leave
Here's the museum off in the distance over there. I'll take you out back for a second. Guess we'll get one last look at the cab, I guess. So, there you go. You can only tell this is the throttle because of how big it is. That's how I can tell, anyway. You'd see, you see how they climb up, but you gotta be, but it's risky doing that because one wrong slip and you're done. Well, you won't die, but you will suffer at least a few head injuries if you land there. You got your trailing wheels. That right there. That's a bearing that would be inside. Now, if you ever see smoke coming from these, it's because you got a hot box. Basically, friction holds them in place, and if you're moving down the road at full speed, well, you get the picture. Here's your back. Here's the air hose, the coupling. Don't put your hand in there. It hurt. And anyway, there's your uh, number, nameplate. Oh, this thing don't have a name, but there's your number. Anyway, someone would be sitting on this and climbed up and holding that if you're backing up the cars, signaling the engineer in the cab that just to keep moving or to stop moving. Here's a little uh, thing about the brief history of it. Um, I'll try and get it best in the video as I can. Pause and have a read if you wish. Anyway, um, you got your uh, stuff in here. This would be, I guess, your uh, drain thing. As you can see, people have thrown rocks in the firebox in there, which is not good because if this thing were to be run, that'd have to be cleaned. Um, this little thing here, you'd pull the reverser back and it would pull this back and the engine would reverse or you push it forward and the engine goes forward. Give you one last look. Oh, it smells good. It's probably, yep, I see I see what's good. It's a burger thing, but anyway. That's your forward trailing wheel, which holds all this in place, connected with the boiler. And, uh, you can definitely tell by the size of these drivers that you get into... You get wedged into one of these things, you're basically gone. Especially with all that hot steam in there. But, I'll give you guys another look inside the cab, show you what, tell you what all those valves up top are meaning, because I'm pretty sure you're going to be asking yourself that. <clears throat> Let's see. All these up here are to either to shut the locomotive on, well, to shut the locomotive off or to turn the engine on. Now, this engine was converted whenever, during its later working career, it was turned from coal to oil, as you can see by the firebox. Anyway, you can definitely tell by how big the cab is, how hard working life was on one of these machines, because... The fireman is over here. Here's your oil valve. You have to look out there, look over to the engineer. The engineer will be sitting here, be adjusting these, adjusting the brakes. Fireman will be over here, adjusting the oil as necessary, sand, whatever. Temperature gauge, if that falls too low, he yells at him. Here would be where your water glass would be, but they removed it. You would turn the valve, steam and air would shoot up. If there was water, you got water there. You'd, uh, you'd go up and judge where your water was. Um, get to see the back of the tender. I would, if I had a GoPro and a selfie stick, I'd show you above, but I don't. So the best thing I can do is the outside. Um, if, but if I show you in here, you can see that big thing on the side there of the dome? That's your whistle. I would sound the whistle, but 
the whistle cord's been removed and I can't so anyway oh I guess uh this is engineer Joe signing off we'll see you next time